Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA did a madness yesterday and dropped the first icon upgrade pack, the first gamble upgrade pack of the year, if you will. And it actually made us a lot of coins. Whether you invested in fodder, which is going up a lot right now, whether you bought in the panic selling dip and then sold cards as they are continuing to rise now into today on Tuesday, a lot of coins were to be made yesterday as a big SBC like this just creates a ton of fluctuation on the market. And of course, the good value that technically this SBC is, I mean, being cheaper than we thought it was potentially going to be and a lot easier to complete and still gives out some okay rewards for this time in the game. So I'm going to take you through my kind of um, reaction to that SBC, my idea of how I think it could be done or how it couldn't be done, and also cover a lot of the market because what we saw yesterday is really going to be a stepping stone and something that we need to think back on the next time we see another SBC like this. I really do think that another icon upgrade might be in our near future. I think that a hero upgrade is still in our near future as well. So we're going to take a look at all of that and of course what to look for on the market today on a Tuesday could it be a bit of a quiet day maybe a slow content day I think there's potential for that so we'll talk about that and of course some team of the week five leaks you know not happening yet but stuff to look out for today on Tuesday as well so if you're excited for the video hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new this is the SBC that made things go crazy yesterday I mean it was a big Monday of content not only did we get the 86 icon upgrade which is the big SBC of course but we had a brand new set of icon player SBCs as well for Michael Essien and Trezza Gay the first icon player SBCs of the year both of these are okay value but they didn't steal the show this SBC stole the show and I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys I'm not doing it and I'm not telling you that this is a terrible value SBC and that nobody should do it according to footbin you're seeing a lot of people in fact 79% according to the upvote downvote here 79% of people are going out and doing this SBC here's why it's only hundred and thirty thousand coins to complete it's two squads you get a couple of tradable packs back. And yes, the the icons being max 86 rated is a bit of a buzzkill, but I actually saw some decent pack weight. And if you take a look at the popular page on Flippin, guys like Essien, guys like Hullet, Zola, Vieira, Blanc, a lot of people packed pretty good stuff yesterday. Now, of course, a lot of people really got bad stuff as well, but here's the premise, right? This SBC is only 130,000 coins. If you have the coins, like I'm saying, if you have like 500K plus and you want to gamble and you want to try this, and of course you can probably get it done for less than 130K with some untradables in the club, then hey, it's not that bad of a gamble. Just realize that the player you get from this might be somebody who doesn't even make your team. If you get somebody like a Schmeichel or you get somebody like a Littman or whatever that may be, there are some L's. There's plenty of L's from this pack, but there are some W's as well. And, you know, I think that for that reason alone, it is an okay gamble SBC. But I'm going to flip the script here and also show you another point of view. And this is kind of where I'm at too is I don't want to put 130K of my untradeable fodder and that club value into this SBC for an icon card, especially in a year where icons just don't seem to be as desirable. So I'm going to be passing on this SBC. I would rather do Alex Tellez for a little bit less of the, of the price, get a guaranteed card that I know I'm going to get and a better tradable pack in return, right? I get that jumbo premium gold players pack, which is a 50K pack back from that SBC as well. So I'm not saying that this is a terrible SBC. Obviously it's not as it's 79% upvoted and it made the market go like crazy yesterday and SBC fodder is up big. People like it. So just kind of think through that, right? Wherever your club's at, if you're kind of pondering, should I do it or should I not do it? If you have a lot of coins, and you want to gamble, I think it's a very okay SBC to gamble on at this stage of the game. And now, of course, a lot of people like this SBC. Take a look at fodder. Tony Cruz was 22K yesterday. He is now 26. That is the story of most fodder on this game. I mean, last week, on the weekend, we've been saying since Thursday, right? Pick up fodder from 84, 85, 86, but especially the higher tier guys. 87s are all 20,000 coins. 88s are about 27, 26K. 
89s or 35,000 coins, all of this fodder yesterday went up. Even with the amount of investing that had been, that had been done, I think one thing that we learned is, especially this year, with the unassigned not working for some people and the unassigned being just different than in previous years, right? For some people it does work, for some people it doesn't. I still don't have a clear answer on what exactly is going on with unassigned and the transfer targets and, and that whole thing in this year's game. I know people that have gone unassigned. I know people that like, you know, I saw Boris Legend tweet yesterday. He tried to go unassigned and it doesn't let him. So really kind of weird situation with that. But I think that does impact fodder because people can store less of it to sell. And, you know, look at Harry Kane. It was 30,000 coins yesterday, even the day before the SBC when rumors were starting to swirl. Right as the SBC comes out, he goes up to 35,000 coins. GG's, if you sold fodder yesterday, like seriously, I think that if you bought some of these players, like he was 26K, that's up almost 10,000 coins in three days. That's an incredible fodder rise if you made that short-term investment and that was your plan. But I also think that these cards can go higher. I really do. Whether you hold into next week, we get another icon pack, we get another, maybe the first hero upgrade. I think that most of this fodder has potential to rise higher. But if you sold your fodder, I think that was a W move as well because now you have coins to go out and play on the market, whether it's quick flip and trade or stuff like that, it's completely up to you. So whether you wanted to sell your fodder and when, whether you did or whether you wanna keep holding, I think fodder can keep going up, especially on the higher tier. But I think on the other side of the coin, if you sold it, it's not a bad problem that you did that either because now you have coins to go out and trade with so that's kind of again that's what the market's doing right now right everybody loved this sbc or most people love this sbc they went out they did it fodder is going up now here's the other side of the coin as well and this is where we made a lot of coins i didn't really invest in fodder what i did do was had my coins ready to trade with cards that got panic sold and what i tried to do yesterday was kind of buy a wide a range, a, a wide array of players because I knew that this was the first day, the first gamble pack of the year, and I wanted to see what parts of the market rebounded back the best. And I absolutely have found out what has rebounded back the best. Now, before we go into that, I just spread the wealth, right? I bought gold cards, I bought some informs, I bought a couple heroes, some of the promo cards, and some of the promo cards did really, really good. What you really needed to watch for yesterday was the biggest percentage point drops like the Calvin Phillips was down from like 100,000 coins down to 80K in that first 30 minutes on a combination of a little bit of supply from the tradable packs in that Icon SBC, but mostly panic, right? If an SBC is 130,000 coins, a lot of the players that are gonna get hit the most in price are guys that are between that you know 75 to 200K range as people go and sell the card from their team or their club to go afford the SBC. That is where you saw some of the biggest movements yesterday. But like we talked about in yesterday's video, when big SBCs like this happen and when they're a good value, you see a lot of panic and then you see a bounce, right? There's a dip and there's a quick bounce and a rebound as people go back out after the SBC and buy cards back for their teams. Now, the biggest bounce on yesterday's market happened with the icons and i knew there was going to be some bounce on the icons for sure after seeing that sbc dropped or whatever the sbc is actually giving out if you think about it um is actually you know the cards that are in that sbc that are really hard to pack like this hullet those are going to be some of the cards that end up bouncing back like let's say when they drop a hero upgrade out some of the hero cards that get panic sold might even rebound back further than what they were before the sbc case in point is this hullet card and a lot of the baby icons that are under that 86 rating from yesterday take a look at hullet start of the day 800,000 coins. The rumors start swirling that we're getting the SBC. He gets panic sold down to 730k right around the time that SBC drops. The SBC drops. He explodes all the way back to the high 800,000 coin range. I think he even sold somewhere around 900k for a quick uh, couple minutes on the day yesterday. So you saw a huge bounce back on the icons that were actually packable from this SBC, except the ones that rebounded the most were the ones that were actually the most difficult to pack, right? Vieira, 900 lows, 950 and below, all the way back up to 1.08, where he is right now. Huge, huge rise on that card. 85 rated Blanc, right? One of the more popular icons that was a good value. 
card that was a, a, a good value pull from that Icon SPC yesterday. 300,000 coins exploding right to 350 and maintaining that price. I mean, he wasn't even really 350 on Sunday, was he? He never was 350 like a, a couple days ago. That's why we're saying that some of these cards rebounded higher yesterday after the SPC than they were even a couple days before the SPC dropped. So that was something that I noticed yesterday that was very, very good to know and something that was very good to see because that makes me think and, and remember like, hey, the next time they drop an Icon SBC, yes, the Icons usually rebound pretty well that are in that SBC that are harder to pack. But what I'm really going to focus on this next time and think about is, you know, those cards could potentially go higher than they were before the SBC was dropped. So that's something that I noticed yesterday. Those cards had the biggest rebound out of everything, but there were still some other great rebounds on cards. Yesterday, you saw me, I bought a Papan for right around 124 or something like that, thousand coins. He's back up now into the high 130s, 140K. A lot of heroes did very, very well. Well, some of the cheaper ones, some of the more expensive ones, you know, Landon Donovan was a card that dropped off like over 20% in price. I think he was like 86,000 coins yesterday um, in the nice Monday morning market rise that we had. He dropped all the way down to 69K um, where I bought one. And then he already, he went all the way back up to about 83, 84,000 coins. So this one's sitting here at 77k is a little bit interesting to me if i can snag one of these even late uh or early this morning if i can snag one at like 75 i'd be very interested in a quick flip there but some of your hero cards did incredibly well smolderek was down at like 250 i think it was and he rebounded all the way back to just shy of 300k uh where he is right now at 297 so heroes and icons did very very well after yesterday's sbc but as you saw on my transfer list that is not exactly everybody who I bought, right? I bought some of the, the new Rule Breakers promos cards. You know, PK, I think it was a really, really good fluctuation um, in a Rule Breakers promo card that was in packs. He was like 210,000 coins in the panic, and he rebounded all the way to, I believe, like 240 or 230, which is pretty close to where he is right now. So that's kind of what we learned from yesterday. We learned is, of course, what we thought we knew that the most meta and the most popular cards were going to rebound, but those icons and those heroes rebounded incredibly well. The impacts promo cards that are the most hyped rebounded very well as well. Um, and then you just you just had your normal gold cards that did that did bits as well, right? Um, you saw me buy like gold KDB. Uh, gold Benzema, of course, Benzema winning the Ballon d'Or yesterday might have helped his case out a little bit, but Benzema was 76k after rising up a lot in the morning. He went down to 65. I sniped two Benzemas at 65k. Um, sniping was incredibly difficult when this panic happened because it was about 30 minutes after the SBC dropped. People went out and did it. It's only two squads, right? Doesn't take that long to complete. So you saw fodder start to go up. Prices went down, down, down for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then the switch flipped and stuff just started to shoot back up in price. Benzema from 76 down to 65, and now he's back up to 76,000 coins, right? I even sold a few cards too early yesterday um, as some of them had superseded their bounces I thought they were going to go on, right? I bought a Kevin De Bruyne at 120, like 126K or something like that, right? Big drop here. KDB always bounces back. That's a card that I know is always going to rebound very well for me. I bought an Antonio Rudiger at 89,000 coins. He's back up over 100,000. So a lot of your meta golds did very well, specifically those La Liga ones. Um, you know, there were some meta golds that, you know, didn't do that great or didn't rebound as much. Rafael Varane's 34,000 coins. He was up to like 37, 38 right before content, went down to 30. Yeah, he's up 4K, but he's not up to where he was pre-content uh, yesterday on Monday. So, you know, just take an, a situation like this and everything that we saw yesterday and learn from it, right? Whatever you did to make coins, whatever you saw on the market, remember that. Because again, like I said in yesterday's video, whether it's a hero upgrade, whether it's an icon upgrade, there's going to be plenty more of these opportunities to make coins in the future as the gamble packs like this, as we like to call them, EA drops them week in and week out as we get further on in this game. There's going to be so many opportunities to make coins on simple situations like we had yesterday on Monday with that SBC dropping on the game. So that's kind of there. Uh, and now of course, just a little bit more about that Monday market rise. I'm sure you guys saw the crazy price on Robert Tone, right? Like we expected, we had the normal before the whole icon pack madness and all that stuff. The Robert Tone card 
um, was a part and probably the biggest riser overall with some crazy fluctuations before 6 p.m. content. Uh, he was, you know, we had a nice, really, really nice market rise into the morning on Monday as expected. So that was a really good coin making opportunity. And then yesterday with the icon pack was a really good coin making opportunity yesterday as well. There were just so many ways to make coins yesterday with fodder, with flipping. It was just fantastic. But this Robert Tony card, I wanted to point this out because I bought a couple of him at like 57 to 60K late Sunday night for a flip. I figured he would go up. I sold mine at like 75K. Basically, I sold like right here as he was spiking, he had a crazy like 30 minute window where he went from 75K up to 97,000 coins. I believe I even tweeted it out yesterday. Yeah, 96K. I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, this guy went crazy. And a lot of people responded to this tweet and they're like, Nate, it's because of the Patreons, they're pumping him. They said to go buy. Personally, I think it was all pure demand. The people that were investing in this card, they invested back here. They invested in the 60K, the low 60K range because they thought he was going to go above 70. He went above 70. I know so many people that sold at like 70 to 75K, took their 10K profit, which is great, right? That's really a great fluctuation. But then his rarity after only being in packs for one day and the super demand that he had being a brand new card with really good stats and linking to the Angel Correa and all the La Liga cards that have been dropped recently, he spiked to 95,000 coins, went back down to 65, and has now kind of been chilling at like this 68 to 70K range. I think he can go up a little bit more today, and that's what I want to lead into next. And we talked a lot about what happened yesterday, and of course, we made coins, we learned from it, and of course, we're going to be able to make coins in that same situation again but I want to talk about the market today on Tuesday because what in the world are we going to get today for content on Tuesday, right? Last Tuesday, we had a crazy, pretty pretty crazy like market crash with a bunch of supply. And of course, last Tuesday was the crazy fiasco with the um, preseason packs from FIFA 22 that were rewarded like incorrectly. But really, last week was about the UEFA marquee matchups. Now, there's no Champions League or Europa League this week, so... We're not expecting an SBC like this today. What in the world could we get for content today on Tuesday? Now, last Tuesday as well, we had a dynamic duos, right? And they messed it up. Last Tuesday, we were all, you know, bent out of shape because they dropped all of these players with all the mistakes. The Rodrigo and the Har Harrison had the wrong dynamic image. The wrong players were in packs, which technically we're still waiting on compensation from. If you go to EA's Twitter, again, this was one week ago. Basically, they said the preseason reward packs incorrectly contained gold versions. This pack will have been disabled and impacted players will be sent a corrected pack in-game in the coming days. So usually around a week is when it takes how long it takes EA to pay out this stuff. So we'll see if they do compensation for those pretty soon. But realistically... We have no leaks. We're not expecting away from our key matchups. Is today going to be a slow content day? Is it going to be kind of a quiet day on FIFA today? I think there's very a very high potential of that. And it doesn't help that right now the menus and the SBC content besides the icon, it's not helping that out at all with the 78 plus upgrade being the upgrade pack of choice that EA gave us, which is a bit lackluster. And it kind of goes hand in hand with how the content has been. With the rule breaker side of this promo, it's been a little bit quiet, a little bit lackluster. So I really don't know if we're going to get any content today that would be of note. Maybe we have a last minute dynamic duo that is added. They've been dropping these on Tuesdays the past couple of, of weeks. We do not have any leaks right now for a brand new dynamic duo or any SBC of that sort or that nature. But I think there's a small possibility for that today. So if there's going to be no content today... What's going to happen to the market? Well, we've seen such a big rise and such a big bounce back already from the low prices and the panic selling from yesterday. What's really to stop it from just continuing to slowly slide upward if that is going to be, you know, how our market's going to end up being with a, with less hype content coming into the game today? So I'm looking at some of these rule breakers that have dropped back down a little bit. Leon Bailey um, is that actually 110 sitting there? I'm going to pick up this 110 because he was selling at 126 yesterday. Uh, after content, I think that might be a good price. As you saw me looking at the Lane and Donovan card, you know, I know that he was selling over 80,000 coins. So seeing him um, a decent bit below 80K, especially maybe snagging that one on bid for like 75.5. 
I am a fan. I'll even bid 76K, Landon Donovan, just for you. I'll, I'll take a look at a card like that too. Now, also what I'd watch is your icons and your heroes because they're going to continue to fluctuate on the market in price. Um, and again, you see these prices be pretty high, but they're going to continue to fluctuate as people want to buy them and try them. Um, and as the hype still continues for that icon upgrade pack, there's still a lot of hype there. So I think those can move up and be fluctuating today. Also, I'd watch out for RTTKs. Um, because yes, they are live cards. They fluctuated a ton yesterday. Um, and that was one point that I really didn't make, but you know, the out of packs cards yesterday did really well. A bombing was down to 500 K Valverde was like 660. He's now back up. You know, Rafinha is still kind of low, but Wambasaka was like 80 K Paqueta was like 140 on snipe. So some of your out of packs cards in yesterday's whole panic scenario were a really good look as well. But just keep an eye on these cards. If EA do the compensation, they didn't say they were going to give out players that packed the wrong version, um, the, the card back. But really, if you packed a gold Foden last week, you should get a road to knockouts Foden. So if EA end up doing that, that could impact some of the RTTKs a little bit. Really wouldn't be worried about that too much though. Um, also, for today on Tuesday, one thing I want to look out for is the beginning of news about our first League One player of the month. And unfortunately, I don't think Messi is going to win. Messi is in the vote. The voting just closed. Now, what I will say is the official Twitter account that tweets this out is that it's at UNFP on Twitter. It's a French account, and they will probably be tweeting here in the next day or two about the League One Player of the Month winner. And League One Player of the Month SBCs have been dropped historically on Wednesdays and Thursdays. I really think this Dango Altara is going to win just because of the month his team had and he had. Uh, but if, if, if somehow if Messi wins, then there's going to be a lot of hype for a Messi SBC as well. But I just think the potential of that is pretty slim. So just watch out for that today. I think there's some potential of that. Also, we don't have any leaks right now, but I do think there is potential Twitter leaks today uh, for a team of the week number five. Also, I tweeted this. I said, imagine a 92 rated Benzema with this dynamic. I mean, EA, I mean, can we can we get a Benzema SBC? I don't really like this car design, if I'm being completely honest. This is not a legit car design. It's just made up. But like EA, if, if you would drop just a simple plus one Benzema with a dynamic image of him holding Ballon d'Or, you know, like I, I will pay a couple hundred K to do that SBC, right? That's just another like level up of content that I think like we have as just people that play this game. We see the potential for how good the content could be. You know, if they were to release something like that, of course, congrats, Benzema, on winning Ballon d'Or. I don't think there's any, any surprise there. But I really just think that going back to content, uh, I think today might be a bit of a quiet day unless we have some sort of surprise out there or there's some leaks early in today. I just feel like it's going to be a bit of a quiet day on the market. And that means that it should be a pretty good day to trade. So we'll be watching for prices that may drop ahead of the 6 p.m. content. If there are some prices that drop, then we might be able to flip some cards as they go higher afterwards after 6 p.m. UK. So it should be an interesting Tuesday nonetheless, but let me know down in the comments what you think about the Icon SBC. Since it was the first one, it made us a lot of coins. Some people got some really good pulls, but I know other people really didn't get that many good pulls themselves. So I want to know down in the comments what you thought about it. If you made some coins yesterday, uh, obviously hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nathan Foot Account, and I will see you on the stream today. Peace out.